I don't know what's wrong with my camera this morning, but this is the second time I've tried to start it. Yeah, go finish eating. <laughs> I gave little buddy his breakfast. Go finish eating. Because it's rainy today. And it it's raining kind of light right now, but it goes from heavy rain to, to light rain. And alternates back and forth, so you never know if it's going to pour down or just going to rain a little bit. So... I've decided I'm not going to try to do anything out in the yard today. I, the only reason I'm out here is because I'm under this porch top. But little buddy's here, so I decided I'd go ahead and feed him. If I didn't, he'd meow himself to death. <laughs> but I figured this could be like a talk session of maybe giving you some more tips and tricks on gardening and that type of thing. But this rain, that's one reason I wanted to go ahead and get the uh, marigolds and the wildflowers transplanted over the last couple of days is because this little bit of rain and the cool temperature, that's going to ensure that those plants survive. So anytime that you've got things to transplant, if you're going to do it outside, hopefully you can pick a day when it's going to be rainy or get them planted just before it rains. That way, that rainwater just, it works wonders for your plants. And it'll definitely help your new plants survive, too. I got to finish up my coffee. And I had one viewer, or one subscriber, want to know if... Um, she could plant potatoes now. And yes, by all means, you can plant potatoes in Texas right now through this month and, let's see, April and May, I think, you can plant a good crop of potatoes. Because potatoes love 50 degrees weather at night and they love the 70 and 80 degree weather during the day. So, yeah, by all means, if you want to plant potatoes, go ahead and get them planted. I planted mine early. You know, you can plant them around February, March. And then if you don't get them planted then, you can alternate. You can plant like in February. Then you can wait and plant in April and May. And then you can wait and plant toward the end of the summer uh, before you have your last frost date. If you get them planted before then, they should be okay for like a fall crop of potatoes. But I did go ahead and get another um, five gallon bucket set up. Got something in my eye. And I planted one of my, my tomato plants in it, not potatoes. Pota uh, tomatoes in it. And I'm going to have a lot more little seedling plants that have to be thinned out and scattered around and planted somewhere else. I don't know where, but I'll come up with a spot. <laughs> I'm not going to let my plants go to waste, that's for sure. I guess I can give some to my son and daughter-in-law. The only thing I hate about that is that I can't buy the pots and, you know, give them to them already planted because I can't afford to do that. I'd have to give them the plants and then it's going to be up to them to get them planted where they want them. And if they want them in a pot, they've got to come up with the pot. You know, I can't afford to buy everybody pots. So, I mean, I wish I could, but... I, just, I can't. <laughs> it's not feasible for me to do so. Go finish eating. You're still shedding, little buddy. 
Yes, you are. You're still shedding. Where are you going? Hmm? Where are you going? He's thinking about it. He don't know where, what he wants to do at this point. I think I'm going to take the camera and go around here to my other patio. It's a lot better view. I like to feed him on this side, though. I don't like to feed him where my hummingbird feeders are. Don't want him to encourage him to eat, to think he gets his meals around on the side of the house where the hummingbird feeders are. <laughs> So, let's see. He'll probably be around here in a minute. Whew, I fried me some bacon and Fix some grits. I don't know if you can see the feeders in there. I guess you can. But I said if there's a chance. Usually the little hummingbirds, if it's raining, they don't want to come out. There goes one right there. He came and he looked at the, wish I could get all of them in there, but I know I can't. Let's see if I can get on this other side. I don't know if I can possibly get all of them in there. No, I can't, because those are right there. Hmm. I think it was best to do this because you never know what feeder they're going to. You set it up for one side and they go to the other feeder. So, it's impossible to determine which feeder they're going to go to. But that shows you these up here behind me. So, if I've hummingbird comes around, maybe he'll go to that one. Whoa. <laughs> My patio is not level. <laughs> Dirty. I don't want to sit on it and it fall. <laughs> that wouldn't be a good thing. I love sitting out here listening to the birds and watching the hummingbirds when they come around. It's going to be a rainy, lazy day today. I can already tell that. And I'm still undecided what to do with my sunflower that's come all the way up to the top of the wishing well roof. <laughs> I thought I planted the smaller ones out there. But look at this. It's all the way up to the top. I can take that pot out and put that tall sunflower over here on the patio and put something else over there. 
And that's what I might do. But I love it growing there. I just, you know, I'm going to have to stake it up or tie it up or do something or it's going to fall over as soon as that it has a big old sunflower on there. So I haven't decided yet. Like I said, if I have to, I'll take that pot out and I'll bring it over here and put it on the patio. That way it can get as tall as it wants to get. And I can put something else over there that doesn't grow quite as tall. So we'll see. But yeah, I never expected to get that big. <laughs> I must have got some of the big sunflowers mixed up with the little one, the seeds, the little seeds. And it's funny because that's the only one that's come up so far. I don't know. Didn't go figure that. It's going to be beautiful with that big old sunflower on it. All the flowers out there are blooming. Starting to anyway. I probably should put mint or something out there so it gets tall and it just kind of drapes over the rocks. I may do that. I don't know. Look out there. Everything is loving this rain. It's all loving the rain. <laughs> My bearded iris, look at those. Aren't they so pretty? If you have rain in your area right now, it is the best stuff. New plants, seeds, Everything love the rainy weather. Yeah, I love to see it rain after I've planted stuff, put seed out or um, transplanted my plants. All of those around the rock garden out there ought to do real good. I mean, look at those sunflowers. I don't know if all of those are tall or if some of them are short ones, the little ones, and some are the tall ones. But they're almost up to the bird feeders, which the birds love it. And the birds are going to love, love it when the tomato plant and the pepper plant get up on that uh, wire cage because the tomato plants will grow all the way to the top of it. And the birds love it. The hummingbirds will perch on that cage. And they'll perch on the plants when they're there. They love it in the corner. But can you imagine looking out there in about another month or so and you'll see all these marigolds and all those wildflowers blooming right along with the moonflowers? Those are going to be so pretty. And this rain is going to ensure that that happens. So. I could put that peppermint right there. It might be a little bit of a tall pot, though, to put in there. I could put that peppermint over there in the wishing well. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Or I might come up with a whole new pot to put over there. There goes that phone again, I swear. And it's nothing but sales calls. 
insurance calls, all kind of crap that you don't want people calling you for. I mean, that phone is about as useless as, well, I'm not going to say what, but. <laughs> yeah, that peppermint would look good out there, or one similar to it. Find another pot and fix me a pot of peppermint and stick it out there. I think that'll look good. It's going to go crazy when those squash plants get up big and start towering down the side, the, the corners of that wishing well. I think I got a cucumber plant put out there, too. <laughs> it's going to be something. <laughs> yeah, but all these plants love this rain. And see, I've been... Uh, Picking all, pulling a lot of plants out of that middle pot there. Because that was a flower seed that I put out there from seed. And they've all come up. And I've been thinning them out and planting them around the yard. The same way I do my peppers and my tomatoes and everything else. But I love this. I mean, I had a tomato in that little pot last year and I never thought about any seeds being there but I planted three I think it was geranium seeds in there and one of them come up but look at that I've got a volunteer tomato plant come up from that plant that was in there last year I must have dropped a little tomato or a seed or something so I'm gonna have to stake that up <laughs> I'll have to get one of those uh, tomato steaks. See how pretty they look since the, it's been raining on them? So lush, lush and green. And my garlic. <laughs> it's looking good. That back to normal size. <laughs> yeah, I think everything has grown an inch just like overnight. It's, a, it's unreal how stuff grows. It has like a growth spurt every time it rains. But the plants get hot and dusty too, you know. And you know, if we've been working in the yard, we get hot and dusty and tired. We go in and take a nice shower, how good it feels. So that's the same way with the, my plants. I mean, they get hot out here in the hot sun. They get dusty when the wind blows. And when it rains, that's, that's just like Mother Nature's shower to these plants. It gives them a new lease on life. And you can see I took that that new fountain thing out because the sun just hasn't been shining it doesn't even have this one running so I said well I'll put it up for now and bring it back out later I had gotten another stack of buckets from Dollar Tree that I'm going to be fixing this week to plant some of my transplants in. You know, my tomatoes and my peppers and maybe even cucumbers or cantaloupe. Whatever plants I need to separate. That's something I think about on a rainy day when I can't get out and do anything else. I will um, think about what needs to be done and what it's going to be needed to be done in the garden as soon as it fares up. I mean, the way it is right this minute, I could put my boots on and get out there and get some stuff done, but I'd get wet. And I'm not in the mood to get wet in the yard today, so. Gonna let it go. Wait till another day. 
See how pretty all that stuff's looking? Looking so pretty and green. Uh-oh. Sorry about that. And I've got so many wildflowers growing in the rock garden. It's about to uh, hide all my rose bushes. <laughs> But those wildflowers will bloom and die out soon enough, and then it'll leave the rose bushes alone. And I probably will pull a bunch of them out, but I do that every year, but they still come back. Because you always leave roots in the ground, and those kind of flowers come back from their roots. So you never really get rid of them. They come back every year. But that's okay. It's something growing. <laughs> it's something growing. I hear a hummingbird. If you get quiet, maybe he'll come back. shorten this and maybe that hummingbird will come back and if he comes there'll be sev several other ones that will come We'll see if it comes to this side or the other side. <laughs> That's why it's so hard for me to film these hummingbirds. They show up when you least expect it. I never know if they're going to be at those. Or over here at this this side and sometimes they'll come and be at one side and then they'll fly straight over to the other side and then go back to the one they were at the beginning they just flip back and forth so you never know which direction to put the camera there's a pretty red bird He's over at the feeder. Well, he was. He flew off. Now, I know the minute I go in the house and everything gets quiet out here, those hummingbirds are going to show up. Because that's like the third one I've had zoomed by my head this morning. Well, <coughs> like I said, they'll probably show up the minute I put the camera off, turn the camera off. That's the way they usually do. I just heard one fly over here on this other side, but I didn't see him. I told you. 
I turn it to one set of feeders, he'll come to the other. Maybe he'll be back. There he goes. He's on the tomato cage. <laughs> they come up and they eat and they'll perch on that tomato cage and then they sometimes they'll stay there for a while and other times they'll stay for a minute and fly off I love watching them Maybe he'll come back. I'll wait another minute or two. I have some, several of them flying around here sometimes. They look like dive bombers. They look like they're attacking one another, and then they'll swarm over to the feeder, and then they'll fly off and act like another bob, uh, dive bomber. You've ever seen those warplanes, how they dive? That's what they remind me of. It's like they know I want to get them on camera. That's why they're not showing up. I turn the camera off. I'll have four or five flying around here. It's a beautiful day. Spring day. Everything is green. Everything is growing. If you have any flower seed, any vegetable seed that you want to plant outside, get that in, in the dirt now. This is the perfect time of year to get all that stuff out. I try to get all mine, like I said, you know, mid-March, but a lot of stuff, you know, I, I keep planting even after then. If I find a spot that I can plant in, I'll plant more seeds, and I keep planting. Sometimes I plant all summer. Well, I don't think the hummingbird's going to come back while I'm stay sitting out here. Like I said, the minute I turn this camera off and go inside, there's going to be a ton of them show up at these feeders. Well, anyway, y'all, thanks so much for hanging out with this morning. Because, I mean, I know you got plenty of other things to do. <laughs> but I appreciate you watching my videos. Y'all have a blessed day. Please like, share, and subscribe to my videos. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye now.